Hello and welcome into SQLite in Python part 2. Um, in this video we will learn how to insert, update and delete records in a table. And if you have watched the first video then you must know by now that Python has a library to access SQLite databases called SQLite 3. And it's intended for working with this um, database which has been included with Python package since version 2.5 if I remember correctly. And we are going actually to be working on the accounting.db file that we have created in the first video. And this file contains data about the company's accountants in the table called employees. So this is the file that we have uh, written together in the first video. So we have imported the SQLite 3 module. Then we have created a connection and a connect method actually opens a connection to the SQLite database file. Then we have created a cursor and the cursor actually returns a cursor for the connection. So we are, it's like a pointer to the connection. All right. Um, then we have created the table together called employees. Then we have inserted the different fields, the ID, the first name, last name, gender, and a joining date with the different um, data types and only we have used the primary key constraint here to say that this key is a unique key for each employee. Okay, then we have executed all of the above, which is the SQL command variable. And after we have used the create statement, we use then the insert into statement or insert statement to insert into the employees table um, the corresponding values to each row. So 001 um, is the ID, John first name, Doe last name, M, which is the gender, and this is the joining date. Okay, so we've created one, two, three, four, five, and six. So these are six employees actually inserted into the employees table, um, six records. And by the end of the file, we have used the commit function to save all the changes. Then we have closed the connection. Okay, uh, let me show you again, if we will say Python one, uh, what was the name, one create.py. So here we have successfully created the file accounting.db. Then if we want to fetch all the data or all the records inside our uh, employees table, we will use a separate file called fetch or to fetch.py. Again, we have imported SQLite 3, we have created a connection, then the cursor, then we used um, the select or the cursor dot execute, select all from employees to select everything or all the records from the employees table. And we have used a special method called fetch all, which fetches all the rows from um, the data or the result set. And we have printed the data. So if we will uh, go ahead and run that file to fetch.py. So we have a list for all uh, the records inside. We can even do it in a better way. So let me just comment these lines out and let's iterate over the cursor, which has all, um, which has this select statement all from all employees. So let's say for records in cursor and let's print each record. All right, we'll get back. All right, so we have all the data right here with the ID, first name, last name, the gender, and the joining date. Okay, this is what we have done the last video. In this video, we will see how we can insert actually different um, rows, how we can update a certain row, and how we can delete a record from our table. All right, so for that, I've created two more files, the update and the delete. So let's go ahead directly and import the SQLite 3 and also to create a connection and this will be equal to SQLite 3 dot and we want to connect to our accounting file, accounting.db. Um, let me just open our folder here so it will be clear for you. The next thing we want to do now is we want to execute a statement called update. So let's get back to our database. 
suppose that we want to change the name of um, let's say for instance Noah so we have Noah David so we actually made a mistake and his first name is not Noah but Isaac so we want to update the employees table and we want to set the first name equal to the new name which is Isaac where the last name is equal to David this is simply the syntax um, to update a record inside our table so we will say connection dot execute and here we will say update like that because we want to update this is the statement used to update a record in a table update and doesn't matter if you write it update like this or update like that we'll do the same thing it's case insensitive then what we want to update we want to update the employees table then we want to set the first name to the new name that we want to give it to that um, employee which is Isaac then we want to locate that exact record so in order to locate that record we need some sort of address so we will say where last name is equal to and his last name is David like that and we will commit so connection dot commit and let's also print a statement um, to tell us that the total number of rows updated so we will know the number of rows actually updated by SQLite 3 and we'll concatenate that with our connection and uh, we will use a function called total underscore changes and total changes function it returns an integer actually that indicates the number of the database uh, rows that have been modified by whatever update delete even or insert commands uh, run by this database connection then what we need to do now is we need to create a variable just to select everything from the employees to reflect that change so we will create that variable we'll call it table and this will be equal to connection dot execute and we will say select all from employees and we will iterate uh, over that table so we'll say for record in table uh, and we will print each record by the end of the file we will close the connection all right so what we have done is we have updated the first name of the fourth employee or the employee with the ID number four from Noah to Isaac all right so let's go ahead and run that file and indeed we have successfully updated the fourth record in the table from um, Noah to Isaac suppose that we want to insert a seventh employee in our table how we might do that well it's very simple we will do it also in the update file and this actually we have done in the create file right here when we first created the table so we said insert into employees the values then so we can actually copy this from here and I cannot do this anymore here in the create file because we have created already the accounting.db and we have committed to all and we have closed the connection but here we can all right so let's actually create a cursor so here uh, let me just um, write a comment here we will say update a record and here insert a record and we will paste that here so the SQL command we don't have a cursor actually so we will need to create a cursor 
and the cursor will be equal to the connection dot cursor. All right, so we have the SQL command variable. It has the insert statement into employees values. Then we want employee number seven. Um, let's call him Robin. Last name Pitt, for instance. He's a male and he has joined the company in 1991. And we will leave the month and the day uh, the same. All right. So um, I think we're good. So we have executed this, then we have committed for the connection. All right, so let's give this a try. So Python 3 update.py. And indeed, we have successfully added a new record or a new row for our uh, Robin Pit employee to our employees table. And we can do the same by creating more and more and more of um, the insert into employees table with the corresponding values of the concerned employee. All right, cool. So this is how to update and insert uh, employees or rows or records in a table. Now let's go ahead and check how we can delete actually um, a record from our table. So again, we will need to import the SQLite 3 module and we will say connection SQLite 3 dot connect and we will connect to our accounting dot DB. Um, then we want to like we did here in the update file, we have uh, used our connection to execute this statement, the update statement, we will do the same thing, but we will execute the delete statement. So we will say connection dot execute. And suppose that we want to delete that last record, the seventh record. So simply what we will need to do is we will say delete like that from employees table where, well, let me uh, write it in capital, ID is equal to seven, like that. And that's all. It just, uh, we will need to commit, connection.commit. And let's also print um, the total number of rows deleted is equal to, and we'll say connection dot total underscore changes to reflect the changes that was made in our file. And again, to display all the records, so we will uh, create a cursor. So the cursor will be equal to the connection dot, oops, dot execute. And here we will select all from employees table, right? then we will iterate over that cursor. So for record in cursor, let's print the record. And let's close the connection by the end of the file. So we'll say connection dot close. All right, so let's give that a try. So Python for, uh, what's it called? Delete, yeah, delete.py. And indeed, the seventh record in our table has been deleted here. So you see, it's fairly easy to do it. Uh, we want to update again. We want to add it again. So let's update again and display that. And you can see, I forgot to show you that uh, it is reflecting the number of rows changed. So rows updated to um, because every time it changes the name of Isaac, this is the first update and the second, this is the update or setting the name, uh, instead of Noah to Isaac and adding a new row, which is the seven. Uh, let's delete actually a different one. Let's delete ID number one, for instance, and let's play the file again, delete. 
and indeed the employee with the ID number one has been successfully deleted. And this is the number of rows deleted reflected here. All right, so this was how to insert, update and delete records in a table in SQLite 3 using Python. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.